This is a block to our 14 liter 60 series Detroit diesel and to kind of give you some scale to this, this is a one foot ruler I've got laid here on the cylinders. Of course this is a wet cylinder engine so the cylinder liners have been pulled out. Here's our camshaft to our Detroit diesel. It's a big rascal. And to kind of give you a little bit of scale as to just how big this camshaft is, here's a one foot ruler to kind of bring it all into scale. And those are your rocker arm assemblies. There again, there's our ruler. That's some big stuff right there. These are the injectors. That's the turbocharger. Here's the business end of our 60 series Detroit diesel engine. This, like I said, this is a 14 liter, which roughly equates out to about 854 cubic inches. Horsepower wise, this, uh, this motor puts out about 515 horsepower, about 1,450 foot-pounds of torque. And it does all that at about 1,800 RPM. Now to kind of give you some scale as to how big these connecting rods are on the bottom end, that's a one foot ruler there. As a matter of fact, the, uh, the bottom ends of these connecting rods are so large that they're actually larger than the bore of the cylinder liners themselves. So that when they go to remove the, the cylinder liners out of the block on these, they have to pull it with the piston and the connecting rod in place because the connecting rod will not go up through the bottom of the cylinder. So it all has to come out as one assembly. Same way when they go to reassemble it, they'll have to reassemble the piston and the rod assembly into the liner and then drop the liner down into the block all as one assembly. That's a big part right there.